Oh, that day. Oh, that man. Oh, he was just a steady cook, fellow. He was a cook. Plank cook. He... That's right. Oh, I wouldn't give another thought to that man, officer. He was just a pathetic man. Just a cook? Forget him. Theater 5 presents The Late Matthew Dillard. We just can't have any more pilgrims tonight. Hello. I was beginning to think nobody was home. Oh, I'm afraid this is a bad time for a pilgrimage, sir. Pilgrimage? It'll, it'll be pitch black pretty soon. Of course, we've let people in at night sometimes. But you can probably understand this night is a very special one. We're all terribly busy, and of course we'll be leaving soon for the memorial service, you know. I don't know what you're talking about, ma'am. My name is Abe Winston. This is Matthew Dillard's place, isn't it? it it's still Matthew Dillard's place? Yes, but I really can't... Do you work here? Well, yes, I do, but... Well, you might have heard my name, Abe Winston. I'm... Not sure, but he might have spoken of me. I was a very good friend of Mr. Dillard some years ago, and he was a wonderful friend of mine. Oh, oh, well, in that case, I think you should come in. Come right this way. I didn't understand at first. I just thought you were one of the regular pilgrims. It still isn't the most convenient evening, as you can well imagine, but... Sit right down here, sir. Thank you. Pilgrims? Oh, I'm sorry. It's what we call the people who, who come, you know, the visitors. We've had a lot of them today, of course, on account of the anniversary. Anniversary? Yes, of course. I don't understand. But see here, I, I don't want to be a bother to anyone. I, I just was hoping my friend Matthew Dillard was in. You were hoping what? That Matthew Dillard was in and would remember me. Tell him Abe Winston. I know a big businessman like Mr. Dillard is probably tied up, but if you gave him my name, I'm business sure... Man? Did you say businessman? Yeah, but he was so kind to me some well, years Mr. ago. Mr. Winston, please. What's the matter, ma'am? Mr. Winston, don't you know that Mr. Dillard has been dead for a year? Has yes. been... Oh, oh, oh. oh, Mr. Winston. Oh, what will I do? Oh, what can I do? Oh, Mr. Winston. There's no one left. Oh, nowhere to turn. Oh, Mr. Winston. Oh, please, for heaven's sake, Mr. Winston. Oh, please, please, stop it, please. Oh, Mr. Winston, I'm, I'm please. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'll go. But there's no place to go to. Oh, don't go, Mr. Winston. Oh, just a minute. Well? You were a friend of Mr. Dillard? He was the greatest friend I ever had. Well, my name is Ada Quillen. I was Mr. Dillard's secretary for the last ten years of his life. Oh, I'm pleased to meet you, Miss Quillen, but I'll have to go now. Oh, I, I wish you wouldn't. Mr. Winston, you seem to me to be in a terrible trouble. I am. Well, I can't let you leave here when you feel the way you do about Mr. Dillard's death. Now, now, listen to me. Now, please listen. Are you all right? Are you in control of yourself now? I suppose so. I, I'm not very good at control. I never was. That's why Matthew Dillard... No, but never mind. Well, now, today is the anniversary of Mr. Dillard's death. Now, naturally, we're having a memorial service tonight. Naturally? Why, yes, in view of who Mr. Dillard was. Oh, well, the, the people in the community. Oh, the president himself has sent a message, as well as the governor and, and all the others. The president? Why, the yes. governor? Oh, yes. Oh, we'll go to all that later. Now, you just stay right here, Mr. Winston, won't you? You see, I think that your being here might be of some value to us. And we'll try to be of help to you. I don't understand any of this. Well, there are things I don't understand, too. But we're both going to have to wait because I'm in a terrible hurry. The others expect me in the next room. Now, look here. Now, just wait, Mr. Winston. You promise to wait? Yes. Good. Good. Very good. Now, you wait here. Most complete coverage, of course, of the visiting celebrity is still and all dark. Still and all, you want me to give you the most space. <sighs> Will you two stop your argument? Oh, there's no argument. It's just that Harris wants the press release to be mostly about him. Never mind that now. 
There's the strangest man out there in the other room. Isn't it fair that my address should be fully reported? I am, after all, Matthew Dillard, biographer and... Yes, Harry, but please, but please, this man in the other room... The one who should get the space in the press release is Matthew Dillard. Now, I wouldn't care if he'd been dead for 25 years instead of one year. He's the finest copy any press agent ever dealt with. The point is that I say all this in my speech. A man who was a businessman until the last 10 years of his life, who then became a novelist though he had never written before, who became the greatest novelist of our age and at the same time the greatest celebrity of our age. Nobel Prize winner, mountain climber, special envoy of the president to Russia. Everyone in the civilized world has heard of Matthew Dillard. As a novelist? I know one man who hasn't. Well, uh, that's beside the point. It's my speech that should receive the publicity because... Because you have a biography coming out and publicity is money for you. Well, publicity is money for all of us, Harris. All three of us who are running the affairs of the late Matthew Dillard share in the profits from his work. I never hear you asking me to publicize Ada or myself, Harris. When you publicize me and my speeches and my writings, you're publicizing Matthew Dillard because I'm always speaking and writing about him. I talk about what strange books he wrote. He who had been a businessman all his life. Delicate, weird, fantastic, evocative books about witch doctors in the Congo or a world in which everyone has extrasensory perception. Everyone knows about those novels and then I tease them with the next one. I tell them simply that it's about a strange city in which people incarnated from the 18th century move amongst the gadgetry of modern civilization. Well, if you don't say any more than that about the story, I guess it's all right. Will you please be quiet and listen to me? I don't know whether the man who's waiting for us in the next room is a reincarnation from the 18th century or not. But he is someone who claims to know Matthew Dillon. I thought you said he'd never heard of him. He never heard of him as a novelist. He was a very good friend of Mr. Dillard's. But it must have been before Mr. Dillard started writing. Well, you'd think if he'd ever known Mr. Dillard, he couldn't miss hearing of him as a writer. I think there's a story in this, Don, some publicity. Yeah, maybe. Well, let's go and see him. Don, Don Simpson, Mr. Winston. Abe Winston. Oh, pleased to meet you. Uh... Ada here tells me that uh, you're an old friend of Mr. Dillard's. Yes, indeed. For some time now, I've been away, and uh, so, of course, I didn't hear about his death. Oh, naturally. Not so naturally. Millions of people heard about his death. Uh, but the things that people hear and the things that people see, are these things real, or are they faint, faraway echoes of desires unrealized? What did you say? That uh, sounds familiar. Is uh, that a line from something? It is indeed. There are lands, you know, where men are as the ether, incorporeal or perhaps just arboreal. At any rate, you can't see them. Uh, I uh, n- never heard that line before. No, I don't know what it is. What is knowledge? Is it as hard and touchable as an oak table? Mr. Winston, you sound like one of those weirdos in a Matthew Dillard novel. A what? A Matthew Dillard novel. Mr. Dillard was a writer, Mr. Winston. Is that so? Yes, it's so. Oh, I'm very pleased to hear that. You know, he always used to tell me that he would love to try writing himself someday, in an amateur way, of course. An amateur writer? Yes, and I always encouraged him because he always had such an appreciation for other people's writing. Oh? Well, Harris would be interested in who his favorite authors were. Whose writing did he like? Why, mine. Yours? Are you a writer? Oh, yes. You'll forgive me. I hadn't heard of your work. What are some of the titles? Well, I never did give any titles to my novels. You see, I just wrote them one after another very fast because I didn't have much time. Much time for what? Well, it was a question of my health, you see. My mental health, you might say. Mental health? You mean... Yes, I I mean I went insane. I suppose I always was a little insane. I I may be insane right now. I I don't know. They've said I'm cured. I suppose maybe I always was a little insane. Now, wait a minute. Wait, whoa, whoa. Let, 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 let's go back. What was your relationship with Mr. Dillard? 
Well, I'd heard that Mr. Dillard was a wealthy businessman who sometimes helped out artistic people. Uh -huh. So I came to him for financial help. I, I brought him my first book. He recognized me for what I am. Insane? A genius. Oh, oh, oh he recognized the insanity, too. He could see that. I, I guess it's there in my books. Anyway, Mr. Dillard took me into this very home. Kept me, fed me, let me work on my books. He got psychiatric help for me, too. Paid for it himself. But all the psychiatrist would say for sure was that sooner or later I would have to be put away. What did you write while you were living here? Novels. Many? Oh, I lost track. It was either 18 or 19 novels. That first work of yours that you brought to him, what was it about? It was a novel about a world in which everybody had extrasensory perception. Oh. Oh. I kept turning out novels, and he kept assuring me they were fine. Well, they were. I knew that. Finally, I had to be locked up. Uh, can you tell me what some of your other novels were about? One was about a wild party in a pharmaceutical laboratory. Mm -hmm. And one about witch doctors in the Congo. Witch doctors in the Congo. Oh, Don, this is awful. Now, let's keep our heads, huh? Don't you see, Don? No, 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 I, I, I don't believe it. You, uh, Mr. Winston. Yes, sir? Now, come on, what do you think you're pulling? Anybody could have come in here and said the things you've said. I don't understand. Is there one person in the civilized world who doesn't know Matthew Dillard? Yes, I wanted to ask about that. Uh, tributes from the president and the governor? And a good many other important people. Matthew Dillard won the Nobel Prize, Mr. Winston. I can't believe that. Oh, no, of course you can't. Everybody knows it but you. I didn't know he ever did any writing. Oh, you didn't, huh? Is there one bookstore where you couldn't get a Dillard novel? I didn't know there were Dillard novels. Is there one drugstore where the paperback editions don't hit you right in the eye? There are the eyes that do not see. There are the ears that do not hear. Sure, and there are the fakers that read a couple of Dillard's books and then come in here and pull an act. An act? All right, what do you expect, money? Money? Why? For what? Oh, Ada, this guy is good. Oh, he, he's very good, really. Mr. Winston, if you're really puzzled about what Mr. Simpson is saying, it's surprising that you never heard of Matthew Dillard as a novelist. In the asylum? I don't think they had books there written after 1910. Did you really write a book about witch doctors in the Congo? Yes. And the book in which all the characters had extra sensory perception? Yes. Mr. Winston. What? So did Matthew Dillard. But I don't understand. Those aren't the kind of things he would have been able to write at all. And anyway, why would he... Oh, no. You mean he took my... my word? Oh, this, this is terrible. The minute I got out of the institution, I came here. I wanted to find out if he had ever been able to sell one of my novels because I needed money. Ah, uh -huh. money. Yeah, I thought so. I can't believe he'd steal from me. Brother, neither can I. Look, I wrote a book. I, I think it's my masterpiece. And I want to know whether he stole that one, too. What's it about? It's laid in a city populated by people reincarnated from the 18th century. Don, that book hasn't been published yet. Mr. Winston didn't buy that in a drugstore. Mr. Winston, maybe I did you an injustice, maybe not. I, uh, I don't know. We, we certainly have to do some figuring. What you're saying is that Matthew Dillard stole your novels. Well, no. That's what you're saying. Well, whoever says it, we'd better do some checking. If, w would you mind waiting here, Mr. Winston? I didn't mind before, did I? Waiting, weightless, while weighty matters await the waiter. I won't believe it. Yeah, well, I didn't believe it myself, but you may as well get used to the idea, Harris. Matthew Dillard's novels were all stolen from some kooky guy that he thought was out of the way for good. It hasn't really been proved. Well, of course it can be. We can check with the mental institution. No. Why not? Because I don't want to find anything out. Yeah, I thought not. All the work that I put in on the Dillard manuscripts. And tonight was the night when at last I was going to start to reap my reward. I'd be in the public eye. My biography of Dillard would be announced. 
the biography of Dillard is something of a joke now. Well, I'm darned if I'm going to allow some psychotic to get in the way of all that I've worked so hard for. We've all worked hard. We've all built our lives around the greatness of Matthew Dillard. Well, I just refuse to believe that he wasn't great. You know something? When I was his secretary, it was always a completed manuscript he handed me. I always thought how easily he seemed to write them there in his bedroom when the door was locked. He always had plenty of time for all those other things he did. That's the way it is with a genius. Yes, that's right. The uh, rules don't apply. That They don't tire the way other men do. But what I meant was... Now, don't uh, think about it. Dillard you know? was a genius. You never doubted that during his lifetime, did you? Oh, no, no, I didn't. I knew Matthew Dillard. He radiated vitality. Yes, that's true. Look at what he's done for all of us. Yes, you mean in the will. Yes, we all share the profits of the work he left behind unpublished. It's so seldom that a man of genius is so generous. Well, that's true. But that man in the other room... That man in the other room is scarcely qualified as any kind of witness. A man who for years has been in an asylum. Yes, and a man who lived here once and probably saw all the notes Matthew Dillard took for the books he was going to write. Well, I still think we should look into his story. Oh, we will. Yes, of course we will. Now, the service is to start very soon. I think you and I should leave for there right away, Ada. What about Mr. Winston? Well, wouldn't you say that Mr. Winston was Don's responsibility? Oh, now, wait a minute. I'm sure you agree, Don. Mr. Winston is a public relations problem, isn't that so? Well, yeah, but... Yeah. So, come along, Ada. Uh, you're going to stay here with Mr. Winston, Don? Yeah. Well, well what are you going to do? Uh, talk to him, uh, get a story. Well... Look, Ada, do you like that guy, Abe Winston? Yeah. Really? Well, he, he, he's creepy, isn't he? Oh, yes, he's very strange. Yeah, well, that's the way I feel. And frankly, I'm more for truth at any cost. And I'm sure Harris is. Oh, of course. But I'll bet that both of us would really be glad to find out that we had nothing to worry about from uh, that Mr. Winston. Well, I certainly would. To find out he was so insane that... The... That, that what? Well, I don't know, but uh, you'd be glad to be rid of him, too, wouldn't you? Well, I told you I think he's creepy. And besides that... I need the money for Mr. Dillard's books. It's, it's Don't got worry, to... Ada. Mr. Winston is a public relations problem, and Don is a public relations man. Come along. <laughs> and so we gather here on the first anniversary of the death of a great man to pay tribute to his work and to his so nearly perfect life. For Matthew Dillard was Ada. no usual. Oh, Don. Come on up back with me. People knew about Matthew Dillard and read his book and marveled at the sensitivity that was the built in. Is something wrong? No. Everything's all right. Did you talk with Mr. Winston? Yeah. And? And after a while, he uh, went upstairs to his old room. Mm -hmm. And after a while, I wrote a press release. You want to hear it? Yes. While the world was paying tribute to the memory of the late Matthew Dillard, a former mental patient, Abraham Winston, evidently broke into the home of the late novelist and was found dead in an upstairs room. He left a note saying, Why should Dillard have all the glory? Do I send out this release? A man whom we can think of only yes. with all. The great yes. man with the Shouldn't great forgive creative imagination, Matthew Dillard. Matthew Dillard.